Hello and what's up, peoples? How are we doing here today? <clears throat> You're watching a thumb culture video. I am the moon, and we will be doing character customization today. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to come up. Now you see our character slot is empty here. Let's fill it up. <laughs> he reminds me of Bio Marvel. He really does. Like, if Bio Marvel in this game, his character's already done for him. Ugh. <laughs> He's probably like a ta a tavern owner. Want a want a couple grog? Want a mug of ale? And now I've already used my character namer system, aka the fancy name generator, and his name is Cyrox. Cyrox. If I could get the, the great in there, I would, but I can't. I got nine characters. So, it happens. Family name. Thumters. The Thumters. The Cyrock Thumters. My Gen Dyers is males. Alright. Now, my, my two favorite ones are two and three. One sounds really like Santa Claus, kind of. You can run, but you cannot hide. Like, you hear it? <laughs> and then zero, don't let, imagine, all right, just close your eyes so you can listen. Imagine someone at an office, right? He's the corniest, blandest, uncreative person ever and probably really stickler on the rules. And then he sounds like this. You are marked. You are marked. You can run, but you can uh, hide. Number three is like you are a dead man. You are a dead man. Like if Mario paid paid the people like, hey, I want my voice in this game, man. All right, I saved of all my gold coins from Prince from, from saving Princess Peach. So I'm gonna give you a hundred gold coins and you let me in this game. Oh, we're not gonna do it? Alright, fine, fine. I'll give you a hundred gold coins and a mushroom. And then boom, his name's in here. But I like number two the best. Now, number two, he sounds like a how do we say? It? He sounds sketchy. Like he doesn't sound trustworthy. Like if number two came and said, hey man, how you doing? I'm like, hey, you back up now, buddy. I don't trust you. Alright? That watch you sold me last week was a fake. It was a fake. Racist. What race do we want to be? The Gotlong, the Slavod, and the Core. Now, excuse me, I don't know any, um, any lore about the game in this universe, so I don't know what the Gotlong, Slavod, and the Core are. But uh, let's take a look, see. Alright. What's the difference? I was kind of expecting something drastic. Like, these, the Gutlog and the Slavar, they both look the same. Like, one's been in the sun a little bit longer than the other. But not much sun at all. Then the other core is, like, clearly somewhere from Asia. Or at least Asian-inspired or something like that. All right, cool. But I like how the models look. They look very, let me scroll in some for you. I know it's probably a little bit darker for you. They're well-defined. Got the Mushayosh. Yeah, like, eh. Where are those teeth from? Are those nails? Ugh, I don't know. That... Like, a necklace sounds like, like that sounds badass, but in reality, I'm like, is this sanitary? How clean is this? And are they sharp enough to hurt me still? Because I don't want to accidentally, like, fall down and stab myself. Like, bro, how do you get stabbed in the throat? Well, you see, what had happened was... <laughs> Not gonna make up a whole story. All right, let's uh, zoom in on this man's face some and change his head. Now, there aren't many sliders to this. Like, you would probably see in, like, um, Black Desert. Like, Black Desert has a bunch of sliders, like, customization heaven. This ain't bad either. Gives you three options of Pizop. 
Now, your third option is always, like, the injured guy. Like, if you want to go in the game and be, like, the injured person or a person like, yeah, I'm fresh from war or I had a, a tragic accident as a kid, you just pick the third option right here. That's the option for you. It's your go-to option. This one's like the, I'm young but kind of getting old in life now. <laughs> and this one is the old in life. Hold on, let me scroll it. Scroll, damn it. Scroll. There you go. This one is the old in life. Like, he's there now. He's all the way there. He's old. He's not jacked up like a third option. Facial features. Now, facial features, at first, like tattoos and their scars. It's like soot. There we go. So, tattoos, scars, and soot. Well, I like this one. He's very bright-eyed. You can see him well. I imagine he's like 36 years old. Not even 36. I'm going to say like, what? 25. So I, I would figure in this time period, when you hit about 15 you're already a man, buddy. Like, you're a grown adult now. When you hit 18, you're starting to get old. You can be married, have some kids. When you hit about 30, you better have a whole career done. Or at least have something to save up to the side. Like, you shouldn't still be plowing fields. You can be like a lord of a land at this point. Because you're old. Got the shaved head. Got the fresh out the water, do I call this one. Now, anything past this is like the bald central. Bald. Well, alright. Past this one. Here we go. See? Bald on the sides. That's called not letting it go. By the way, this feels like a very modern hairstyle because that's gelled. That's gelled. They're using some sort of grease to keep it that way. Now, I highly doubt they actually had like a, a hair grease you want to put on your head. So, it's probably something like bare fat. Like, hey, bro, let me get some of that bear fat right there, that jar. Thanks. Gonna go down to the local tavern and talk to the barmaid there. See this right here? This is the bald ones I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This is just, I don't know. It's creative. It's creative. Like, when you know, when you got a lot of hair and your girl's like, hey, let me try to give you a hairstyle real fast. You're like, all right, whatever. And then, like, once she's done, it looks like a wreck. This is that. This when you go to work and be like, you know, my hair may look a mess, but at least I have a girlfriend. Because your girlfriend really did that. This is the extreme let it go. Like, what is this? This is an accent, honestly. I feel like, Something like, you're a barber, right? He was giving you, he was shaving your head with the dagger, right? Freshly made dagger, right? Just shaving away. And then bandits come in, and he didn't have enough time to finish. Because he got killed. Because <laughs> he got killed, and you just, you barely made it with your life. Alright, you escaped, you still living. But you got the little piece of hair left. Now you gotta find another barber. So you gotta go to the next village over. And be like, hey man, um, haircut please? I like this one, but I feel like having a ponytail at that time period wouldn't have would have been like bad in combat for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go with this one, the fresh out the water. I'm fresh out the water. Don't I look charming? No, it looks dumb. I have a struggle beard. Like I have like under chin hair, like the front of my chin doesn't have hair. Unfortunately, so I'm kind of envious of these beards, believe it or not. No, you gotta earn that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's horrible. All right, let's go with this. The last one reminded me of a, of a used car salesman. Here, color three colors. You get three options, Billy. Honestly, these sliders for like colors and stuff are kind of lame. I wish they'd give me like square boxes and with different colors you pick the color you want with that. Cause there's only three of them. You could have like saved so much space. When I see a slider, I expect something slidey. 
Ugly. This one looks like a brownish red. Like a clay, if you will. No. Let's look at his body. His mandicles. No, that's hair color. Oh, here we go. I feel like that is a very modern tattoo. Like, you're really doing that back then. Like, his grandma's name, like, his child's name. I lost my daughter during the war. But I always remember her. Because I have her name there. So I can cry every night. Some elaborate tattoos they have. Like, I, that seems more fitting. That takes some level of creativity. I don't think they had that back then. I'm gonna get this option right here, the scarred body option. I've been through stuff in life, but I'm alive though. Because if you've seen a little, um, if you've seen the intro video, it sounds like they're, where they were from, got really jacked up, war started happening. So like, hey man, let's uh leave this place, go somewhere else. All right, well, boom. Now, attributes. The thing about attributes that I don't like, and I'm happy they're kind of like evened out, is that, eh, how do I say it? I don't, I don't know what they do. Like, I just, my rack probably look it up, but when I go into your game, I want to know what attributes do. And with like, like a quick tip, be like strength, attack, or like, um, just strength, strengthy stuff, agility, movement speed, um, movement speed, reflexes, stuff like that. Constitution, health and defense, willpower, like what do these do? I don't know. They're all balanced at 15, but I like being a smart person, so I'm going to like take a hit on constitution, which is probably health. I'm going to regret this, but I don't care because I'm badass. <laughs> I'm going to get 20 intellect, so I'm going to be smart. Crafting. What do we want to be? There are no points in construction, which I don't know why, and you can't go down on artisan. I don't get that either. Like, maybe because it's the beta they're doing this, but I kind of want to have my points, so I want to have my points. Like, I would make all that even. So, I'm going to make this right here and give me construction. All right. I want a little something, something, and everything. Combat. Once again, let me distribute my own points. A slinger. That's probably like an archer. And I'm going to put it in footman. I don't know what footman does either because there's no tips for that. I assume slinger is archer. Anything's in the long range. Only way I can recognize like cavalry. Like cavalry. No. Mounted combat. Mounted com combat, milita, probably something to do with leadership, footmen, probably on the ground, something like that, I don't know. Because it doesn't say. Slinger, most definitely something to do with long range. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is our character here, alright? I've made sure, to my best of my ability, to make my little skills, little everything, little something, something wrong along the way. I hope you guys like how he looks, because you'll be seeing him in future episodes yes indeed there is more to come because i have to make a review for this or a preview review type of thing thing so let me know what you want him to be or i'll make him a farmer if you want he'll be farmer bob i'll make him a traveler traveler across the lands pillage and rob do 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 but yeah let me know what you want him to be i'll lead him towards that direction this has been the moon here you watched a thumb culture video of uh, well, fat thing to give me, I don't know why. <laughs> you watch some culture video of Life is Feudal, the MMO. Remember to check out thumbculture.co.uk for all that gaming news, man. The gaming awards were recently. Wonderful articles to read there on that. Over and out.